So this should be straightforward. We're going to set up our shooting mechanism the same way we did in the breakout game. So I have a sprite player laser here, which is just a small blue sprite, 16 by 4, and I've set the origin point to 0 and 2, which will set the origin on the very left of the sprite, but in the middle. And we'll line that up with the origin point of the player. Not precise collision checking, because it's so small it doesn't matter. Click OK, and let's create an object from it. So I'm going to call this obj underscore player laser. I'm going to give it the same sprite. It's going to be visible, and I'm going to give it a depth of negative 5, so that it appears above our enemies. So let me set this up here. Let's add an event, create and we want it to begin moving as soon as it's created. So we'll come over to move, move fixed. We want it to move to the right at a speed of 12. Not relative, click OK. And since chances are we're just going to be holding down the button and firing rapidly, most of our bullets or lasers are going to miss. So they're going to go off the screen, which means we need to destroy them. So let's add event, other, outside room. And then we'll come to main one, in our objects, this little recycle bin, destroy instance, destroy self. OK. So now it'll move when it's created and destroy itself when it goes off screen. So click OK, and let's reopen the object player. We need to set up a few things to make our firing mechanism work. So let's add an event, create, and let's add a few new variables. Come over to control, set variable, and this first one is going to be called is underscore firing. Make sure it is spelled correctly. Give it a value of false and click OK. And then we're also going to set up a new variable. The variable will be called fire underscore rate. And I'm going to give that a value of 10. The firing rate will determine how fast we can shoot and the reason we're setting it up in a variable instead of hard coding it in is because later on we might have a power up that increases the rate of fire. So we need to be able to have something we can call and change. So click OK. And to make the player shoot, we're going to use the spacebar. So add event, keyboard, space. And we need to check and see if we are firing to begin with. In the create event, we told it that we were not. We set that to false, but we need to check it anyway. So come over to our variables, test variable, test to see is firing equal to false. And then we need to drag some of these blocks in because we're going to have multiple things happen. First of all, we are now firing as soon as we hit the space bar, so we need to come set variable and set the variable is underscore firing to true. Click OK. And we're also going to create an alarm, which will allow us to space out the lasers so we're not just firing a continuous stream. So come over to main 2, set timer, set alarm, sorry. And we are going to set alarm to our variable fire underscore rate. Click OK. And then finally, we need to make the lasers appear. So come to main 1, create instance, drag that underneath and we want the object player laser to appear at the 0, 0 origin point. Make sure that is relative and click OK. Now this is only going to shoot a laser if is firing is equal to false and since the first thing we do is tell it it's going to be true it's only going to create one laser so to reset the firing we need to set up this alarm 0. Add event, alarm, alarm 0. Then we just come over to control, set variable and set our is underscore firing back to false. Click OK, and that should work, so let's test it. And I will hold down the button, and there we go, and it's spaced out apart, and they almost seem to fly at the same speed as the ship, so I might want to change that, and they are kind of spaced out a little bit far apart, so I might want to slow that down too. Let's come back here and in the space, sorry, the create event will come to our fire rate and we'll set this to, say, 5, half of that maybe. 
Now let's try it. Yeah, that's a bit more rapid. I might want something in between. I might want to set that to 7 or 8, but the point is it's ready to go. So now that we can fire lasers, we need something to shoot. So we'll set up our enemies in the next video.